Today we pick up our Bible study in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 36 through 38. To the best of my understanding, in the first century, it was customary under Roman law for a young woman to be promised by her parents in marriage with the full rights of marriage being implemented from the time of the engagement. There are some differences between scholars on interpreting this passage of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 36 through 38, but I believe that of the three possibilities, there is reason to take consideration for all three. First is the side of the father of the virgin in giving her in marriage, knowing the law and consent of marriage in sexual relations. As the congregation at the church in Corinth is learning to follow as God leads them, the questions begin to rise in following God in respect to the local laws, which may be in contradiction. In this case, the father of the virgin of age should not feel guilty about giving his virgin daughter to be married, even though Paul himself would prefer for the virgin to remain a virgin and dedicate herself wholly to God. The second possibility is that the man being engaged to the virgin should not feel guilty about having sexual relations with his bride to be as the Roman law encouraged. The third possibility for the instructions in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 36 through 38, is simply questioning the behavior of all three people. The father of the virgin in making a decision to give his daughter in marriage, the virgin in her responsibilities of maintaining her purity, and the husband to be in his actions toward his wife to be, a possibility and involvement in the proper way of handling the situation. Once again, Paul's advice falls on his own words from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 17, as I quote from the New King James Version, But as God has distributed to each one, as the Lord has called each one, so let him walk. This is an example of the conflicts between the laws of government and following what God has put in your heart. In the case of Paul's instructions in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 36 through 38, the government is not necessarily wrong, but the possibilities of gaining social status in promising one's virgin daughter in marriage could have been more closely related to the issue at hand. Paul did add the instructions of the, bir of the virgin-to-be of age for this to be acceptable. There would be no reason for him to note that if it were not part of the issue. I believe that this lesson for us today is not solely about promising one's virgin daughter in marriage to gain social status or business favors, but about anything that we may promise or, or commit for the same reasons. The main point is that we ask ourselves in these questionable situations, what would Jesus do? And then follow what God puts in your heart as we remember that we are to put God first in all we say and do. The way to follow in all situations is the way that God is leading you through his Holy Spirit that he has given to live within your heart. Dear Lord, as Christians, we will come into situations in life that will be questionable to adhere to and still yet adhere to following your will for our lives. Please give us the discernment to distinguish between the ways of this world and the ways in which you would have us to walk as we are the example to the world as representatives of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.